March 25th, 2013. I am Steph. I am also known as Super Steph on Ravelry. And I am Stacy, also known as Laryngitis Girl. No, Free Flower on Ravelry. And yesterday I had absolutely no voice, so we weren't mm -hmm. able to record on schedule, but powering through today. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to cross our fingers. Her voice doesn't completely go out. And yes. Cross our fingers. I yet. have my tea, my water. Yeah. <laughs> A little porn. Okay, so, <laughs> so she said port. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with uh, some shout outs. Yes. Um, we first of all we'd like to say thank you to Diane from Knittables. Yes. And Heather from Bunnyfish and Chrissy from Snappy Stitches for their shout outs and their podcast. We really yes, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. And um, we got a few donations, which is very exciting. I know. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we ordered um, custom mustache buttons. Mm -hmm. I have the the ones I'd already gotten from Etsy, but they weren't custom mustache buttons. So um, when those come in, I'll be sending those out to you guys. And yes. thank you very, very thank much. Thank you very much. And we just like to mention you guys by name. Claire, Christy, and uh, Amanda. Amanda. Yes, thank you. And, and iTunes? iTunes, yes. Um, as you all know, we had to start over, which is unfortunate. And we <laughs> lost some really awesome reviews, but yes. you guys came back. And uh, last we checked, we had nine, right? Nine written reviews? Yes, nine written reviews. And yes, thank you. I think I, we were up to 18 star ratings, oh. which is awesome. We love it. I know, and they're all five, so thank you. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm just going to read our list because there's so okay. many we can't memorize. Um, thank you, Amanda. And RLM Molden, Elizabeth, T. Lassard Three, um, Doc G. Rod, The Married Gamer, Bionic Christie, XCO Mom, and Saki Knitting Knitter. Saki Knitter. Sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys very, very much. It's it's very appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to mention our knit along. We um, are doing our knit along for it's March. Sock it to me, March. Sock it to me, March. You still have time um, either you really to do. finish or to start. Because if you're a fast knitter or you like worsted weight socks or you like knitting <laughs> worsted weight socks for babies. Yeah, any pair of socks. Any pair of socks that are cast on during the March during the month of March and yes. finished, obviously, before March yes. 31st. And then also tag it with... Moscal 13. That's M O S K A L 1 3. Yes. And um, just post it up in the FO thread. And if you are in the group, go, if you're not, go to the group. Join us. It's so fun and vivacious. Yes. And I just, I love our group. It's just, it's growing and people are coming in and chatty, 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 mm -hmm. and so <laughs> positive mm -hmm. and inspiring. And it's, it's and just supportive. Really supportive. It's it's a really 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 nice atmosphere. Yeah. And um, the cow I finally brought over the skein of mm -hmm. yarn. So this is Sweet Georgia Tough Love sock, and it is in the hush colorway. So it's 425 yards of a superwash wool um, and nylon, an 80/20, and it's really mm -hmm. pretty. It's slightly slightly. It's not tonal. Tonal, yes. It's tonal. It's it's pretty. It's pretty. And we'll be doing um, the drawing on our next podcast that we yes. record, which should be the Two weekend weeks. of April 6th, 7th. Yes. Um, so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for that. Yes. Yes. Um, and what's the last bit of news? Oh, I just wanted to mention um, a new friend. Uh, Lauren from Lemnit Crochet. She actually is um, another Texas girl. Another Texas girl, and she is moving to San Antonio. And she actually joined our local Stitch and Bitch. And right now, she is um, doing a fundraiser for Histiocytosis 
association. She had a really good friend who um, unfortunately passed away a few years ago. So she's raising money to donate on behalf of his name. And there are many, 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 many ways that you can contribute if you'd like. Just go to her blog, lemnitcrochet.blogspot.com. And one of the ways you can contribute is by buying a pattern. It's called Turtle Turtle. And it's by Susan Claudine. And I'm just going to show you a picture. I think it's adorable. And the turtles are based on one of Josh's drawings. So it's a really sweet way that you can help support her and um, remember her friend. And the pattern costs six dollars, and three dollars of it goes to the um, Histiocytosis Association. And those are really, really cute. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah. I'm totally gonna knit more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have to knit at least two, one for each of my kids. Yeah, and a good way to use up some scrap yarn too, I bet. Oh yeah. Yeah, because you can probably use worsted, fingering, sport weight, anyway. Yeah, it's just not gonna matter. Like those uh, Rebecca Danger monsters, they just mm -hmm. end up being different sizes. Yep. So, what are we currently working on? Can we start off, or you let's, start off? You yes, start I'll off. start off. And let's start off with the big brown sweater. <laughs> no longer of doom, only because I'm almost done. And Steph swears that this is the second to the last time you will see this. Yes, Next time I will it finish will be this. An F. Oh. Yes, it will be an Hold her to it. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I've got Raquel holding it. <laughs> I swear she mentioned it like four or five times during our knitting group yesterday. <laughs> Raquel, my knitting cheerleader. Yes. So this is number 17, Man's Cabled Cardigan from Vogue Winter 2010. And the pattern was written by Josh Bennett. Uh, first, everybody likes to show off their really cool project bags. <laughs> so I'm going to show off mine. <laughs> it's Tupperware. <laughs> because it is shallow enough and big enough and basically as I knit around I just rotate it. <laughs> so, Clever. Yes. So I finished the sleeves and I seamed them. Oh, nice. And there are ends galore. Let's look at this. Sleeve and then there's another. Awesome. And he's having to cuff them because it's too long. But oh. I knew that going in. Everybody said the sleeves were super long. And I don't know if you guys can tell this because the yarn is quite dark, but it, it is cabled all the all way. All the way down. Down and all the way around. Yes. It's awesome. Cables galore. And then I picked up the button band, which is all bunched up on my needle. Um, the original collar is a shawl collar. And the button band is wide. It's supposed to be, I think, three inches. And I was not quite halfway through, and then I met with Stacy, and Stacy <laughs> said, <laughs> Stacy said, hey, why don't you just make it a regular button band, and then you don't have to do the shawl collar, because I was not looking forward to the shawl <laughs> collar. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. I went ahead and put in um, my very next row. I was about 10 rows in. The original pattern called for 13 rows before you do the buttonhole, and then another 13 rows, and then the shawl collar. So I was about 10 rows in. I went ahead and put in my buttonholes, and I'm going to go ahead and knit, I don't quite know how many more rows, and then I'm going to put it on more than one needle and try it on him and see how it looks. And if it looks silly, hmm. then I'm just going to keep going, and I'm going to go ahead and do the shawl collar. And if it looks great, then I'm going to bind off, and I'll be done. Very wise. Either way, it's going to happen before the next podcast. So that's that. Very smart. Yeah. Well, I only have one work in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, let me get to the end, end of, of this. your row. Yeah, it's going to go pretty quick because it's another sport weight <laughs> sock. Um, this is the Knit Picks Felici, and it's in the Dockside colorway. Um, so last, well... Was well, it last time I showed my um, my FO was another pair of fleecy mm -hmm, um, square yeah. weight in the recess colorway, which is let's see because I'm wearing them um, teal and orange and yellow and brown and cream and not quite lime, yeah. but really cool colors. And my um, grandmother saw me knitting those and said that she thought her sister, my aunt, would 
really enjoy a pair, and she lives in... Who wouldn't enjoy I know. a pair of bandit socks? <laughs> I know, but she lives in Maine, and so can really appreciate some woolies. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm happy to knit for her, so it was kind of funny because the next time I went out to visit her, about a week later, she says, oh, I talked with, with Barb, and she would like some socks, mm -hmm. so... Um, so I cast these on this, I don't know, when did I, was it uh, yesterday? No, no, not Saturday. yesterday, Saturday, so. Yeah. Sport and you're weight. doing toe up? I'm doing a toe up, and I'm putting in a ribbing down the foot, since I don't have her here to try them on, I just know her shoe size, that way it'll afford a little more ease, you know, one way or the other, and I think it is time, actually, to put in... The afterthought heel. Oh, you did, you decided? Well, since it's toe up, I've kind of, I'm not sure if I'm backpedaling from the afterthought heel, mm -hmm. but I'm wearing my first afterthought heels all day. They're kind of sliding down, and I'm not sure if it's just because I didn't make them deep enough. They feel really comfortable, and I like the way they look, mm -hmm. but they're slipping down, whereas my heel flap and gusset um, socks, even if they're all stretched out, mm -hmm. um, they don't do that. So uh, it will require more testing. I, you, and I think you can do a f heel and flap. Yeah, you can do a flap and gusset. But and you don't want to because it's stripey. Wendy D. Johnson has the toe up with a difference. I'm, I'm sure there are more out there, but that was one of my first books, mm -hmm. um, sock books. So actually, my first sock was a toe up, a heel flap and gusset oh, well, the, with the difference. Um, it's just that they're for um, a non-knitter, and mm -hmm. maybe I'm thinking of this all funny, but I think it's just going to look different to her. Um, it's not going to look like your average sock when the flap is going to be on the bottom. Um, and not on the back of the, the heel itself. I didn't realize it was going to be on the bottom. Yeah. Never knew. So I'm kind of... I don't do toe up. <laughs> so now I'm thinking about doing a flegal heel. Mm -hmm. So I looked up the instructions for that. There's a really good um, website. Um, I'm sure there's other places out there, but the one that um, a friend of ours from the group, Rob Nitz, mm -hmm. Hi, Roberta. <laughs> she had posted was a Flegel's, Flegel's blog. Oh, and straight from the yeah, straight from the source. Very straight from the Flegel source. And um, very, very of course clear instructions. Now it doesn't the Flegel heel isn't just on the heel part, it is in the round. Okay. So those stripes will get a little wonky around the heel, but I think they won't all get in all, wonky, they'll just get thinner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not wonky, just thinner. Anyways, that's what I'm working on. Don't blame me when you run over to nitpicks and get yourself some discontinued. Oh, you, know you want some. <laughs> I want some, and I bought some. <laughs> yeah, I went back and bought a few more. What did you say it was? Two, two seventy-five. Yeah, so uh, one or two of them is two thirty a ball, oh, and gosh. then the rest are two seventy-five. Oh. So I, you know, yeah, yeah, went over and stocked up. You know who knows. <laughs> okay, so I have my hand spun socks still. Um, this is uh, Black Rose Socks by Susie Anvin, and it's from Knitty 2008. Winnie, oh, gosh, I cannot talk today. <laughs> <laughs> this whole Monday thing is throwing so me pretty. off. Um, this is from Knitty Winter 2008, and it's actually a knitty spin pattern. So this is one, and it's ready for the um, heel flap. So I got the leg. Very pretty. And then my other one, because I do them both at the same time, because I don't like sock, second sock syndrome. Nobody does. <laughs> uh, has a flap and a heel, and I just picked up the gusset stitches. Very nice. So, um, I'm not enjoying knitting with this yarn. Oh. Yeah, I should have plied it a lot tighter. I should have made it a three ply, but I was lazy and, you know, you live and learn. Um, it's splitty, which tells me that it's not plied very tight. 
and I'm because it's not applied tight I'm worried about how well it's gonna wear and I went through all my different options of what I could do to reinforce the heel and I actually did try one so there's you can um, hold a nylon thread as you knit mm -hmm. you can weave in nylon thread you can weave in just more yarn or you can hold double and I tried holding double and I went down a needle size and mm -mm, it just it was big and poofy I did not like it so I'm gonna finish the sock and then um, decide if I want to reinforce afterwards or if I just want to be super gentle with these socks so that's pretty much it it's only clogs yeah only backless shoes <laughs> yeah <laughs> pretty much never never barefoot not barefoot but never without your shoes on yeah, basically. So what else are you working on? So, this is the new love of my life. Yes. <laughs> um, little backstory. My kids decided to share a room. They are six and three. Almost three. And um, I get to decorate a room for them. And mm -hmm. I decided that I wanted to um, get them matching but not really matching just coordinated um, bedding and it's really hard because they are a boy and a girl and it's hard to find colors that go together and prints that go together my son really wants dinosaurs so um, I went ahead and I ordered some fabric because I made them some pillowcases so it started with fabric so this is his and is the dinosaurs so and then cute. it's got orange uh, cuff and then this is hers it's got birds and mm -hmm. owls she she doesn't care for the birds she cares about the owls uh, yep and then it's got a purple cuff so the colors are kind of similar they don't really go together what ties them all in is what I am knitting um, I am knitting them modern log cabin blankets. The pattern is from Mason Dixon Knitting and it's by Kay Gardner and Ann Shane. And let's see if I'm holding up this upright. This is one. Ooh, I'm going to have to pull back <laughs> <laughs> to fit it. This is hers. This is for my little girl. And you start with I started with the green square and then you pick up on the end and you knit the purple and then you pick up on the end and then I knit the pink. That's so that's how you build your log cabin. So the next color is going to be picked up along this edge. And then um, his is similar but coordinating. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of a row. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. So I'm using the same green for him, and all the other colors are different. And um, and what is this yarn? Because it's lovely. It's very pretty, isn't it? It's Louisa Harding on Dine, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. I have a ball. And this, this is her blue, and then his blue is a darker blue so um, they all go together I promise oh they look great they look yeah so I'm just I'm thrilled to pieces with how this turned out because I picked the I picked the yarn out online yeah you know and the know. fabric online everything was online so I got really lucky because this Louisa Harding yarn is awesome basically um, it's really multicolored. Yes. Um, if you what could is that see called? This, I have no idea, but if you saw it in person, you'd see that it has undertones that are picked up in mm -hmm. all the other all the other colors. Yeah. Yes. So this this orange has a little bit of the hot pink and a little bit of yellow in it, and then her pink is the same. It's got a little bit of orange and a little bit of purple and a little bit of um, the yellow and the orange. Um, I already said orange. So. 
they all go really well together. And since I'm using the same pattern, but different colors, I'm thinking that their beds are gonna look really cute together. Oh, I think so too. So. And if you're fortunate enough to be one of Steph's friends on Instagram, you already got a preview of this because she got a box of yarn and she put yeah. that on them. I was like, oh, I want a box of yarn. I know, you gotta pay for a box. I know, still. <laughs> yeah, I ordered all of the yarn at once and it's actually not even gonna be enough, but the box was a 10 inch by 10 inch by 10 inch and it was completely full <laughs> of yarn. And I just, I got it and I hugged it and I opened it and then I hugged it and then I opened it and I smelled it and took pictures. I took like way more pictures of that than I probably have of any of my finished objects. <laughs> so I'm having a lot of fun knitting on this. It's garter stitch. And I didn't know how much I enjoyed garter stitch um, until I started really doing it. And it's a, it's addicting. It's like <laughs> stripes on steroids because you knit this whole block and then you bind off. And that feels like a little mini finished object. And then since I'm doing them two at a time, because second blanket syndrome would be horrible, <laughs> way, way worse than second sock syndrome. <laughs> No so kidding. then I get to change colors and I'm basically working with like what seven different colors so it's it's like big get rejuvenated goodness. with each one huh? exactly exactly so I'm really enjoying it that's awesome yeah so can I talk about an FO please do Are because I know you have I know you have several <laughs> well just a thing or two um, or three <laughs> maybe I should mention this little lovely yes. number so I give you, a, give you a hint if I do it like that. <laughs> this is Pomme de Pain by Amy Christophers. Ooh, French. <laughs> La -la. <laughs> um, by Amy Christophers, and I knit it. Uh, it's a, a sport weight, 100% um, natural merino by Kai Mohair Ranch, uh, which is a local ranch. And I... Love it, love it, it's gorgeous. Love it, so and it fits perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm pretty proud. Let's see, me turn around. Show you guys not my butt, but the pack. <laughs> so, yeah, it lays it all over. Yeah, that you see every ounce right of it. there at the top of the right back, here. and the front panels actually come up and are grafted together mm -hmm. right, there right there to provide um, the slouchy nest that you have around your neck mm -hmm. and you just mm, 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 mm -hmm. like that and um, the button challenge was on mm -hmm. I don't know why I wait till the last minute I do I I don't pick out buttons until yeah. it's finished why I don't because, know because I'm ready like it's a knit it's blocking and then I, I look for buttons no then. because I like to take my sweater with me when I go button shopping because I like to lay my sweater out and then I have all my button choices and I Place them just so on the button band. And you know, I usually do too, but I, it was blocking. Oh, I don't, oh, here it is. Um, I just took my, my little swatch. Oh, you did. <laughs> because it's, you know, it's cream colored yarn. Yeah. I pretty much knew what it was, but um, I'm very, and very. you knew what size to get and everything. Yeah, basically. So. I like <laughs> it. Let me take this off and so I can show you. Thank you, Steph. The button up close. So I'm pretty happy with my button choice and I hope that is focusing. So I asked uh, our group on Ravelry what should I go with a statement or mm -hmm. something that blends and everybody pretty much said you know go settle let the lace do the talking you think and you made a very smart choice. Thank you I could uh, uh, you know of course I can't decide so I bought like six pairs <laughs> for sets really? of buttons <laughs> and came home and, you know, laid them all down and then asked my kids. And so now you have a button collection. I, yeah. Every sweater, the button collection grows a little bit from the, the off cast. Mm -hmm. um, and so I decided I bought another, you know, two of the sets of buttons actually blended even more. And the other two were a little more um, statement. And actually the one that I really, really liked, I thought I was gonna go with when I put it on the actual sweater. It was a um, kind of a pewter a button. 
and had a flower on it. I was so sure that was what I was going to go with. Mm -hmm. um, I just, nope. And so I went with this, and I think that it's subtle enough, but it has enough detail of its yeah. own. It's a button, for God's sake, but still. <laughs> it's an important It's a decision. detail. We you knitters. Spent, like, what, five months knitting this? No. Sorry, not five months. <laughs> not five months. I you spent, spent time. You spent time. That's right. Hours and hours and hours into this. That's right. I You've sure got to make a smart decision when it comes to buttons. That's very important. Thank you. I That's agree. more important than yarn choice. I agree. And because I'm pretty sure somebody's going to say something, <laughs> this is Gemini. Ah, yes. By Jane Richmond from Nikash. I knit it last summer. I uh, My brain is, mm -hmm. I think college broke me. You know? <laughs> Lots of things have broken. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Kids. But, you know, your brain fills up Work. with knowledge and then whoosh for the next project. But anyway, it's uh, Jane Richmond from Nitty mm -hmm. Summer, I believe, 2000. Or was it spring? To the, spring it it will summer. be right down I actually about think it might have been spring. Here <laughs> when I put together the, the editing. Okay. I'll put it in there. And you used Cascade Sierra, right? I did. I used Sierra. I remember that. I yes. cannot believe I don't remember <laughs> things like that. No, so she doesn't even remember her own right. yarn. Mm -mm. I went a little gaga for the Sierra. Yeah. After that. It's a um it's a wool cotton blend and being in Texas, um, I was thinking the cotton uh, would be nice because mm -hmm. um with it being hotter here, but not a hundred percent cotton because I made that mistake once. Mm-hmm. And it's a saggy, baggy thing. And yes. I can't even wear it one time without it. You've got to have a, a tremendous amount of negative ease, I would think, for a cotton top yeah. to look good. Yeah, I've tried cotton tops. Yeah. I have a cotton <laughs> cardigan that I actually need to run it through the wash and probably the dryer just so I can snap it back into shape. Yeah. yeah. Mine, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do snap. the trick. No, no <laughs> snapping. It was unsnappable. Okay, so... Do you, have, you have more, don't you? I do. Okay, keep going. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, why not? Okay, so the other thing I finished is skew. So I just shoved some stuff in there because I did not want to be a contortionist and try to get my foot up in front of the camera. But I wanted you to see how cool the skew heel is. It is just such a neat pattern. And I know, like, several people, this is the top of the foot. You cast on at the toe and work your way up. And um, several people have mentioned that they have been intimidated. It's a free pattern. It's by Lana Holden. Um, and it is not to be, don't let it intimidate you. you. You have to pay attention as long as you can read and you know um, how to do increases and decreases, and they're not even really difficult, um, then you can do skew. And you can have a really cool it's amazing. Sock. So there's my skews. Yay. And those are cast on in March. Yes. And finished in March. Yes, this was, uh, I'm not eligible for the Moscow, but. But yes. you did it. <laughs> but I did it. More than once. It's my month of socks, and this is out of the Kramer um, Sterling, Sterling and Silk, I think, in the Estate Green colorway, and I knit them on ones. Okay. I have one FO. Uh, Stacy and I are knitting an Afghan strip um, for our friend, who, and there are four others who are also knitting these, and then... We're going to give them all to Lizzie, and she's going to put together a blanket and send it off to the Maryvale Orphanage. And I finished my strip. <laughs> I am the only one who's finished my strip yes. because apparently there is a yarn shortage. <laughs> so it's six blocks alternating between the sparkly blue and the gray. And the only reason why I finished is because I stole Stacy's yarn. <laughs> <laughs> and I really, really thought I was going to have enough... Um, to pass along and there were like vultures yesterday at the group <laughs> like every every five minutes I heard hey do you have any gray <laughs> no, I'm sorry I had I had like this much gray and then I promised Stacy I was gonna give her the blue that I have left over 
<laughs> That's how much blue I have left, so. No, thanks. <laughs> That's going to go a long way. Yeah, yeah, actually, I had a little bit more that Lizzie had given me, mm -hmm. and I, um, I gave some to Betsy. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, no, Saturday, I gave some to Amanda. So I have no. You have nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So hopefully. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more of that. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more. I have one more F out because it's the month of socks, y'all. So these oh, are. Oh, that's right. We didn't show them. You weren't finished last time, I were wasn't you? finished. <gasps> no. Oh <my> gosh. <laughs> I wasn't finished. Isn't so. it ironic that. The week you have laryngitis is the week you have to do all the talking because you have FOs. I know, because I, yeah, yeah. Poor Stacey. Isn't it ironic? Poor Stacy. <laughs> so, once again, these are the Claire Spring Socklets, dedicated to my friend Claire Bayer, um, because the pattern looks like polka dots, and she loves some polka dots, and it's knit out of some stripey um, knit picks, Felici. <laughs> <laughs> this episode has been brought to you by Knit Picks yeah. and Knitty. <laughs> if only. If only. <laughs> I think we're like way under that radar. But I knit these on twos, and they are lovely, and they're little anklets, and I think I'm going to like these with an afterthought heel, if I didn't mention that last time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laura Lineman. Yes. A lovely tutorial. Um, what else? I think we have stash enhancements. I think we do. Yeah. So that's it for the knitting. Stash so. enhancements. Bring it on. Okay, so I needed a longer cable to hey, do right. my <laughs> sweater, my sweater button band. Mm -hmm. And I was going to go, and then my husband said, well, I'll go for you, because he had to go out. He needed to take the baby out and get her some fresh air. And I said, okay, we'll go ahead and go. And if you happen to see sock yarn for Henry, our son, um, can you please pick some up? Because he wears a uniform to school, and I would love to knit him socks, but they have to be a certain color. And you thought it was safe sending him in? I thought it was safe, because he's a man. He'll go in, come out. Yes. <sighs> and then what happened? And then what happened? <laughs> okay, well, let's start with the, the yarn that he was supposed to buy. Um... <laughs> This is Cascade Heritage. Um, they, of course, don't name their colorways on the label, but it's navy, and um, it's might not be able to tell that it's navy, but it is. It's and very it's dark. perfectly school appropriate. So then he decided that he needed soccer. <laughs> so he bought some more Cascade Heritage. And does your husband knit? No. <laughs> Yet he has his own stash. <laughs> and his own Ravelry account, right? Yes, because he likes I to just go out and look at <laughs> <laughs> He likes to go and look at the patterns and cue the patterns and then I go to his cue and I see yes. what he likes and then I say, No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> no more cable sweaters, honey, I'm sorry. Uh, so since he bought two for other people, I think he decided I needed two for myself. So he got some Schaefer Yarn Heather, and this colorway is called Julia Morgan. That's some lovely stuff. It's really pretty. It's merino, silk, and nylon. And, oh gosh, I didn't realize the silk content was so much. It's 55% merino wool, 30% silk, 15% nylon. And it is fingering weight. And um, I think it's too pretty for socks. <laughs> and then the same yarn, but this is the Rosa Parks colorway. Very pretty. Yeah. He did a good job, but I think I'm going to have to put him on a yarn diet <laughs> before we go broke. But thank you, honey, because he is also sweet, and he usually watches the podcast. So thank he you is so very sweet. much for my yarn. I don't know if you guys noticed the t-shirt that Steph was wearing last time with the sheepies on it. Oh, no, he didn't get you that one. No. It was, he's been known to buy t-shirts for yes. me. Yes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yes. Yeah, Joey's a sweet guy. He is. And he's our tech support. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. We couldn't do this without you. Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little bit of stash enhancement. Mm, let's see it. Let's see it. It is. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know who did it, but somebody busted it. 
Um, this is probably the last game known to man or beast on the planet. <laughs> Really? Is she well, going to stop? No, no. She has uh, shop updates, but she will have to look for it. Oh, it goes. Trailing clouds. It goes fast. Yarn. It is called Mind the Gap. I don't know if you can see how many different colors are in there. It is blue-faced Leicester. We were just talking about that last time. Mm -hmm. Self-striping sock yarn. And it is gorgeous. Let's see. She does say that they're... The stripes produce um, approximately five to six rows in each color. And I do not remember how many colors there are. It's a lot. But it's the same. Wasn't it something as, like 11 or something? I like was that? thinking it was 11, 12, or it's 15. It's crazy amount. I can't even imagine how much work goes into that. <laughs> I know. But it's gorgeous. It's all mine. Mm -hmm. If I knew she's going to blow up, I would have got more than one. More than one. Yeah, because there were a few in the shop when I just. Mm -hmm. stumbled upon it but I love it and um, this isn't exactly new I um, bought this um, last year during our yarn crawl actually year before last during our yarn crawl and it's Plymouth dye for me mm -hmm. um, and Claire Rare had a party at her house with Easter egg dye and so hand painted this myself and it is pink and orange and yellow, basically half pink, half yellow with orange all around. And I call it Peeps, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. I actually, I really love this, so I can hardly wait to, um, to cast it on. Socks. Socks. Socks for sure. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be fun. For sure, though. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes. So... I think that's it because neither one of us have any spinning to really talk about. No. Um, I no. did just a tiny little bit, but it was like half an ounce. I mean, it's just, it wasn't even worth yeah. bringing. I looked at mine. In fact, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> Hi, wheel. Hi, wheelie. <laughs> um, so I think that's the show. Yeah, we made it through. Your voice survived. Yeah, I held out. Tea and... Um, warm wishes, and I wanted to thank everybody. I've gotten lots of really nice um, comments from the group and on Plurk mm -hmm. and Twitter and here and there, and um, so thank you very much, and we'll see you next week. Two weeks. Two, sorry. <laughs> Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks. Happy March. Yes, happy we'll end of March. We'll see you in April. Okay, see you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.